Donald Trump is continuing to spiral. He's posting selfie videos of himself on his social media with his face looking like this. He's also sending emails to people who subscribe to his listserv, asking for money selling fake gold American flag pins with his name on it, desecrating our great flag by putting the name Trump on the flag, clear violation of the flag code. I subscribe to Donald Trump's list, so you don't have to. I just want to share with you the unhinged messages that he is sending on a daily basis to his uh, supporters. It says in the subject line, the official gold Trump USA flag from Donald Trump. I made this and he's selling this fake gold flag pin with his name on it for up to one thousand dollars. Uh, a minimum buy-in is $50 to qualify for the flag pin, but if you absolutely want the flag pin, you have to pay $1,000 to get the flag pin. And then it says, I only had a few of these made and now everyone wants one. It's gold and 100% made in the USA. I had some folks just today tell me that they're going to be wearing them everywhere. And the same way he plasters his name on his fraudulent buildings that are all kind of subject to the New York civil fraud case. He's now putting his name on the American flag. And of course, we've been covering at the various traveling fascist circus events that uh, Donald Trump calls rallies. Some of the main flags that are propped up are flags that include Donald Trump's mugshot on them, uh, flags that have Donald Trump's uh, name on them, um, and flags that have curse words on them relating to President Biden. Folks, that's the state of the modern day Republican Party. It's worth mentioning as well, and I don't think this gets enough t attention. Not only does Donald Trump desecrate our flag, he's changed the words of the national anthem. He has the J6 choir song play at the beginning of his events instead of the national anthem. Uh, Donald Trump also posting another uh, number of other kind of unhinged and deranged stuff. He was attacking Fox. He was attacking, well, he's attacking Fox because he's down in the latest Fox poll. He's saying how unfair it is and that Fox never gives him a fair shot. Just kind of constant whining over and over again. He's talking about Jimmy Fallon in his post. He says, can anyone imagine being critiqued by rating starved Jimmy Fallon, the bumbling, stumbling hostess that single-handedly reduced The Tonight Show to ashes? He then posts, the latest Fox News poll is trash. And he puts trash in all caps and an exclamation point. They used a biased Democrat-leaning sample of voters polling more Biden 2020 voters than Trump 2020 voters. While well, Donald Trump is... Uh, engaging in this behavior. His stock was absolutely tanking today down more than 40% over the past, uh, really since Donald Trump was convicted on 34 separate felony counts. It tanked again yesterday. Um, we'll see what it's going to be doing today, but it's not looking very good for that, for that stock. And by the way, I mean, the company lost. And as many of you point out, it didn't lose it. The money went somewhere. Where did the money go? But it's showing a paper loss, at least, of about 300 or so million dollars in the last quarter alone on only $750,000 in revenue, which is pretty uh, horrific. So the fact that it's still even trading where it is trading is something that is, um, you know, a, a bit outrageous. But when you go and actually look at the Fox poll, I, uh, I'm less of a fan of polls and more of a fan of trends. And the biggest issue that voters are talking about right now is the future of our democracy and stability and normalcy, women's reproductive rights and the economy. And uh, most of those issues are all favoring President Biden now. Donald Trump is uh, talking about, uh, again, he's still whining about the Fox poll. He goes, Fox News polls are always the worst for me. They have been from the beginning of time and always will be, or from the beginning and always will be. And then on his bizarre social media platform, all of his sycophants then post like weird memes and there they attack Paul Ryan and put hashtag Trump deranged syndrome on Paul Ryan's head. And they say, Paul Ryan of Fox News is a sellout. If you know the difference between the Republican uniparty rhinos and MAGA Americans. And what Donald Trump is doing, you saw in his previous post, he goes, 
The Fox poll is unfairly talking about, you know, the Republican Party versus the Democratic Party. Donald Trump's like killed the Republican Party. I mean, it's it's the as his followers talk about, it is just the MAGA party right now. And that's what it is. You take a look at Donald Trump's post and you want to compare those posts to like what President Biden is talking about. I, I think the, the comparison is an important one to see kind of just what normalcy looks like. President Biden writes, when we were ready to move forward with a bipartisan immigration agreement, Republicans walked away from the deal for the most pathetic and petty reasons. Donald Trump told them to. So much for Republicans caring about the border. President Biden writes, the best part of my job is showing up for the American people. Right, he's talking about we the people, not I, not me, me, me. Representing the people. President Biden goes, we're approaching the first presidential election since the January 6th insurrection. We know who Donald Trump is. The question we have to answer is, who are we? That's what's at stake. Uh, President Biden posts core inflation is at its lowest level since April 2021. Grocery prices have fallen and wages are rising faster than prices. But I know families are still feeling squeezed by the cost of living. That's why I'm fighting for lower costs for hardworking Americans. And again, you got President Biden there addressing the issues one after the other. And while he is doing that, you've got Donald Trump making posts like the latest Fox News poll is total trash. You've got Donald Trump saying nobody can ever trust Fox News. I am one of them with the weak and ineffective rhino Paul Ryan on its board of directors. He's a lightweight. He's failed and pathetic. He says he calls him a dog. He says, uh, get that dog off your board, Rupert and Lachlan. I mean, just think about that behavior right there. Um, by the way, here's the video that Donald Trump posted of himself, just so you can see it. he was going to uh, Ohio. Uh, speaking in the Cleveland area, here's the video that he made of himself. Just very strange stuff. Play this clip. If he is, that's good. I don't really care. I'm going to Cleveland. It looks like we're doing great in Ohio. We're doing great in just about every state we're in. Every poll number that's coming in is looking good. We're leading just about every poll on a national basis, also on a swing state basis. And I look forward to Thursday night. It'll be great. And again, I saw... RFK Jr., nice guy. I hope he can debate because I really think it would be a good thing to have him up there. I'd love to have him up there. But you have to do better than six or seven points, like by about triple. And uh, maybe someday he'll be there, but I sort of doubt it. Thank you. And he went on a podcast where he continued to praise Vladimir Putin and said that Putin's a great negotiator. Here, play that clip. It never happened. Russia was not going to attack Ukraine. As soon as I got out, they started to form along the lines. And I thought that Putin maybe will. He's a good negotiator. I thought he was going to be doing that for negotiation purposes. Then all of a sudden they attacked. And I said, what's going on here? You just think about that. He's like just going there praising, praising enemies. He blames NATO for Vladimir Putin unlawfully invading Ukraine. Here, play this clip. So for 20 years, I heard that NATO, uh, if Ukraine goes into NATO, it's a real problem for Russia. I've heard that for a long time. And I think that's really why this war started. I'm not sure that this war would have started. Uh, by and he talks about his great relationship with Kim Jong-un. Here, I'll show you that clip. And now they're much tougher to deal with. And I will tell you, I got along great with Kim Jong-un. We solved that problem. Nobody was in danger. But this is a big problem. You know, and with all of Donald Trump's you know, antics and his behavior, you then have Fox trying to make excuses for him and go, look, He's just kidding around. This is this is Trump being funny. These conversations with Hannibal Lecter. He's doing a stand-up routine. Here's uh, Brian Kilmeade. Just watch what he's got to say here. Play this clip. People are talking about how Trump's losing it because Joe Biden's losing it too. Trump's kidding around. He's having fun. He's kicking about talking about Hannibal Lecter. He's looking in the audience. He's playing around. And now people are going, Trump is losing it. No, he's having fun. All right. And and that's where he was picked up. One nation. Well, anyway, tell me what you think. I, pr I prefer normalcy. What about you? What about you? Hit subscribe. Let's get to three million together. Uh, that, that, that Trump logo on the flag, cursing in churches, cursing at his, uh, cursing all the time, praising January 6th insurrectionist stories about Hannibal Lecter, saying he wants to release the J6 hostages is what he calls them. 
wow, wow, wow. Hit subscribe, let's get to three million together. Enough! Send it to the big house, not the White House. Get the new exclusive tees, mugs, and stickers right now at store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.